If you're looking to get into niche perfumery without breaking your bank, Essential Parfums is a brand you cannot overlook. And this time we're exploring all of their fragrances. Well, except Fig Infusion and everything that comes after it. Anyways, as usual, we're going in an alphabetical order and the first fragrance is Bois Imperial. Woody, spicy, slightly sweet. In the beginning, I'm smelling some green freshness, a bit floral, a bit anisic, has a sprite-like quality in the first 10 minutes. After that, it's quite easy to discern some bitter woods, vetiver, patchouli. If I had to compare it to other fragrances that I own, I'd say it has some similarities to Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver and Third Hermes. People often say that this is a pretty good budget version of a more expensive niche perfume called Ganymede. And fair point, the perfumer for each of these is the same person. Quentin Bish. I myself haven't tried Ganymede yet, so can't really comment on the similarities, but it's not an unheard of thing where a perfumer would use very similar formulas for different brands. In some circles, Bois Imperial has achieved meme status, being called does the best thing to ever grace our mortal souls, probably right after Gary by SpongeBob SquarePants. For me, it's just okay. A solid masculine fragrance, versatile, woody, professional. Anyways, it turns into a skin scent fairly quickly, on me in about a couple of hours. At that point it smells mostly vetivery, woody and bitter. It's quite noticeable for the next 5 to 6 hours and on the next day I just get a very faint vetivery clean vibe off of it. Divine Vanny is a sweet, spicy, almost burning vanilla with some gourmand facets reinforced with tonka beans and cinnamon. Undeniably dry and powdery. In a way, it reminds me of Mercedes-Benz Club Black, which is a really good fragrance in its own right and smells way better than it should. In about three hours, I smell some creamy woods, probably sandalwood, a definite ambery sweetness and overall it sits much closer to skin. And in about 8 hours I get some clean, woody, ambery skin scent. Simple but really good. It's a straight up unisex with the potential of being a compliment magnet. Though as an alternative I would recommend Mercedes-Benz Club Black if you can find it for a reasonable price, that being roughly 30 to 40 euros because this, while smelling a bit more synthetic and less spicy, it lasts a whole bunch more. Mon Vetive is my favorite from this brand. Fresh, spicy, invigorating. In the first few minutes it smells of mint, vetiva and clean musks. It also has some herbal feel hidden in plain sight there as well. The sad part is that in the first 10 minutes most things fade away and I'm left with mostly just musk and in about an hour I just get a weak, musky vetiver. And in about 4 hours I get a faint but nice skin scent. To me it smells amazing, but it just does not last. So given all these parameters, it could be a pretty good office scent. Should be safe to overspray, unless you're concerned about masks as potential health hazards. Nice bergamot is a citrusy sweet floral scent with some fruity and woody undertones. Opens up juicy, succulent, you do get the citrus rind smell and a very characteristic floral feel that you often get from bergamot. But in 5 minutes the citrus rind smell just mostly disappears and I'm left with a more dull experience which is often the case for citruses and which is why I usually don't really like citrus fragrances. In about an hour it embraces the more mild fruity, slightly sweet smell and becomes noticeably weaker. At about 3 hours it's a weak orange skin scent, at which point it kind of lasts until the next morning, but it's really weak. In my opinion this is a feminine fragrance, smells wholesome, floral, happy, which is kind of why I don't like it. So, eh. Orange Santal is one of the least favorite scents in this list, for me. Orange essential oil is definitely present in this fragrance and it's a material that I really dislike. Opens up fresh, juicy with a citrus rind smell. At that point it kind of reminds me more of green mandarin rather than orange. But their openings are quite similar so it doesn't matter that much. And it quickly turns into this dull, rounded, orange, powdery, slightly sweet smell that I have 
quite a distaste for. It actually reminds me of these small fluoride tablets that I used to get as a kid. In about two hours, it's still pretty strong, has a woody, maybe ambery feel to it. And in about eight hours, it's basically the same, just with less strength. Can be worn by anyone as long as you like some mild, vaguely citrusy, slightly sweet fragrance. Rose Magnetique is all about the sweet, spicy green rose with a pretty noticeable fresh minty opening. Doesn't feel like it would have a ton of Rose Absolute in there due to the costs and the fact that Rose Absolute smells a lot more jammy and a lot more intense. Actually, the rose here kind of reminds me of Moschino's Toy Boy, except with less harshness. In half an hour I get a rosy, spicy, musky scent with honey aspects that gradually dries down into a metallic, again musky and rosy, skin scent. It's more feminine rather than masculine, but in my opinion still a really good unisex. Actually, it's one of the better scents in this list. The musk really smells like baby powder to me. In the opening I get a slight bubblegum sweetness with a milky, soapy feel. And obviously a powdery, clean musk, which really does not smell all that pleasant to me. I also get some lavender here and there and a slight spicy honey vibe. In 10 minutes it goes a bit sour on me. And it would be okay, but it also, in addition to that, starts smelling of nitro musks. Some like muskinon, for example. And those mostly smell like farts to me. Very clean ones, but still farts. And it's quite strong. Even at 10 hours, it just refuses to settle down. Actually, during the test, I got a headache, so be careful. But on the next day, I got a clean smelling musk, which, well, I kind of enjoyed. Overall, this is a feminine scent with a fairly unique smell, at least if we're talking about fine fragrances. I don't like it, but if you want a sweet baby powder that lasts, I guess look no further. In summary, this is a fragrance house that has pretty good prices for niche and has some simple, easy to understand scents. There are cons though, mainly the fact that these scents, they don't really last all that long. And the fact that at least for some of them, you could get a designer version of the similar smell that would last a lot longer. So talking about Mercedes-Benz Club Black, Moschino Toy Boy, and even if they smell more synthetic, they still last a whole lot longer and they kind of would be better value for price. So my recommendation is if you liked any of these scents, go get a discovery kit. It's not that expensive and you should try these scents out. Or alternatively, if you want to get into niche perfumery, you should check out this video where we talk about Francesca Bianchi.